Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Owsley of jonathanowsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, men value women they earn, or men value women they pursue. Wrong! <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry for being so blunt, but uh, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, check out the link below to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can get notified of new content. Okay, men value women that they pursue wrong. <laughs> you know, there's this fantasy, I, I'm sorry, there's this misconception, it's, a, it's wrapped in a fantasy, that men value what they pursue. In other words, if they pursue something, if they make a tremendous amount of effort, they will eventually value it. In other words, they will put it up on a pedestal and set it apart from everything else on the planet, okay? I mean, let's think about this for a second. This is the ongoing narrative that a lot of dating coaches are telling women that men value what they pursue. Men value what they put effort into it. And I'm here to say this is a crock of shit. Ugh, I wanna stick my finger down my throat. And so let me give you an example. And I'm gonna use my son Colin, that's him right there and the, the graduating uh, boy right there. Uh, back when he was 14. He wanted to buy this video game and he worked really hard and he worked really hard to save up money to get this video game. And then this video game came out on midnight at Best Buy. So we went there and stood in line from five in the afternoon because he wanted to get it right away and he worked really hard. He put a lot of effort into it and we stood in line and waited, waited, waited. And we got inside the store shortly after midnight when it opened and he got this video game and he played it and he played it and he played it. And then a new video game came out and he did the same thing. And another video came out and he did the same thing. He worked hard and he valued it until he no longer cared about it. So where is this perception that when we work hard for something, we value it? That is a crock of shit. We only value what we genuinely appreciate. And in today's world, this is the biggest issue that we're dealing in a relationship is a lack of appreciation for one another. In fact, this is one of the fundamental challenges with men and women today because we literally begin to take things for granted. Let me ask you a question. Have you been to a funeral ever? I'm sure you have, right? When you're at a funeral and you're hearing the eulogy and they're talking about this wonderful person who's your friend, someone you care about, a loved one maybe, and you think to yourself when you leave, I'm not going to waste one more minute of my life. I'm going to go out and live life to the fullest. And then three days later, you go right back to your old routine. What happened? You said you were going to live life to your fullest, but you went back to your old routine. Men value things that they earn. My son worked hard and valued it, and it was on the shelf a month later. It's because it's human nature. We don't value what we earn, and so don't buy into this narrative because a guy works hard in the beginning of the relationship. That means he's going to be all in for the rest of his life because we know that's a crock of shit. And ladies, you've, you're buying into a narrative that you know subconsciously doesn't work anyway. So stop buying into it. And when others give you this advice, don't buy into it as well. This is one of the reasons why a really good relationship fails because you're under this notion that a man has to put in effort and effort and effort and effort and effort. Because if he doesn't put in effort, he doesn't value you. But think about this. Have you heard the story where you take uh, a boiling hot water right? And you drop a frog in it. The frog is going to jump out really quickly, okay? As soon as he jumps in the water, he's going to drop, he's going to jump out, okay? But if you put a frog in lukewarm water and then you turn up the heat and it slowly starts to simmer, it's going, it's going to eventually die. But the point is a relationship is a slow simmer. It's not a full-blown massive effort means he loves you. It doesn't mean he loves you. A genuine, real relationship is built through time, through trust, through commitment. 
And if you're not familiar with the book, Eight Dates, read this book so you can understand the mechanics of a healthy, happy relationship because a relationship isn't built on the, the effort has to be mutual. You're both at the 50 yard line giving effort to one another. When the effort is mutual and consistent, it has the greatest chance for success. It's not the man going past the 50, past the 50 yard line to bring you to the 50 yard line. It's that you're meeting each other on the 50 yard line of effort. Because when effort's imbalanced, it's like this. Your, your effort's here and his effort's here. Where does that make sense? I know I wouldn't date a woman if her effort is here and my effort is here. I want our effort to be mutual. I want it to be like a ping pong game where it's a mutual dance of working to getting to know one another. But this fantasy that men make effort when a man pursues a woman, it's going to work out. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I just drives me nuts when I hear this rhetoric. So stop buying into this dating advice. You get the gist of where I'm going. I think you understand. Hey, look, you might have something to say. So you think you know better than me? Why don't you post a question and tell me why that's going to, why that has worked in the past. Because if you're watching this channel, there's a chance that your past experiences didn't work. And maybe this is one of the narratives that you bought into from all these other coaches that tell you that men are, make effort. And don't get me wrong. When a man likes you, he's going to put in effort. That's not the issue. But men don't value what they pursue narrative. is just a crock of shit. And that's, I mean, that's all I'm here to tell you. So don't buy into that, okay? All right, again, if you have a question, please post it below. If this resonated with you and you wanted some help with a guy because you're dating a guy and you're pulling your hair out, check out the link to discover, uh, schedule a discovery call to see if working with the coach is right for you. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love, just like my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? I'm going to give you a hug of love. I'm going to ask you to turn to one of your friends and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Bye-bye now.